The Bundeswehr German, Bounds VE, Listen, Federal Defense, are the unified armed forces of Germany and their civil administration and procurement authorities. The states of Germany are not allowed to maintain armed forces of their own, since the German constitution states that matters of defense fall into the sole responsibility of the federal government. The Bundeswehr is divided into a military part, armed forces or Streitkraft, and a civil part with the Armed Forces Administration, Wehrverwaltung. The military part of the Federal Defense Force consists of the German Army, the German Navy, the German Air Force, the Joint Support Service, the Joint Medical Service, and the Cyber and Information Space Command. As of 31 July 2019, the Bundeswehr has a strength of 182,832 active soldiers, placing it among the 30 largest military forces in the world and making it the second largest in the European Union behind France in terms of personnel. In addition the Bundeswehr has approximately 28,250 reserve personnel 2018. With German military expenditures at €47.32 billion, Euros, the Bundeswehr is among the top 10 best-funded forces in the world, even if in terms of share of German GDP, military expenditures remain average at 1.35% and below the NATO target of 2%. Germany aims to expand the Bundeswehr to around 203,000 soldiers by 2025 to better cope with increasing responsibilities. Topic History Topic Founding Principles The name Bundeswehr was first proposed by the former Wehrmacht general and liberal politician Hasso von Manteuffel. The Iron Cross is its official emblem. It is a symbol that has a long association with the military of Germany. The Schwarzes Kreuz is derived from the Black Cross insignia of the medieval Teutonic Knights. Since 1813, the symbol has been used to denote a military decoration for all ranks. When the Bundeswehr was established in 1955, its founding principles were based on developing a completely new military force for the defense of West Germany. In this respect the Bundeswehr did not consider itself to be a successor to either the Reichswehr 1921 of the Weimar Republic or Hitler's Wehrmacht 1935 Neither does it adhere to the traditions of any former German military organization. Its official ethos is based on three major themes. The aims of the military reformers at the beginning of the 19th century such as Scharnhorst, Neisenau, and Clausewitz. The conduct displayed by members of the military resistance against Adolf Hitler, especially the attempt of Klaus von Stauffenberg and Henning von Treskow to assassinate him. Its own tradition since 1955. One of the most visible traditions of the modern Bundeswehr is the Grosser Zapfenstreich. This is a form of military tattoo that has its origins in the Landsknecht era. The FRG reinstated this formal military ceremony in 1952, three years before the foundation of the Bundeswehr. Today it is performed by a military band with four fanfare trumpeters and timpani, a corps of drums, up to two escort companies of the Bundeswehr's Watchbatithlon or another deputized unit and torchbearers. The Zapfenstreich is only performed during national celebrations or solemn public commemorations. It can honor distinguished persons present such as the German federal president or provide the conclusion to large military exercises. Another important tradition in the modern German armed forces is the Gelebnis, the solemn oath made by conscripts until 2011 now recruits during basic training and serving professional soldiers. There are two kinds of oath, for conscripts, recruits it is a pledge but it's a solemn vow for full-time personnel. The pledge is made annually on 20 July, the date on which a group of Wehrmacht officers attempted to assassinate Adolf Hitler in 1944. Recruits from the Bundeswehr's Watchbatithlon make their vow at the Bendlerblock in Berlin. This was the headquarters of the resistance but also where the officers were summarily executed following its failure. National commemorations are held nearby within the grounds of the Reichstag. Similar events also take place across the German Republic. Since 2011, when conscription was placed in abeyance within the Bundesrepublik Deutschland, the wording of the ceremonial vow for full-time recruits and volunteer personnel is 
Ich Gelebär, der Bundesrepublik Deutschland true zu dienen und das Recht und die Freiheit des deutschen Volkes tapfer zu verteidigen. I pledge to serve the Federal Republic of Germany loyally and to defend the right and the freedom of the German people bravely. Serving Bundeswehr personnel replace Ich Gelebär with Ich Schwor. I vow to. Topic: Cold War 1955 to 1990. After World War II the responsibility for the security of Germany as a whole rested with the four Allied powers, the United States, the United Kingdom, France and the Soviet Union. Germany had been without armed forces since the Wehrmacht was dissolved following World War II. When the Federal Republic of Germany was founded in 1949, it was without a military. Germany remained completely demilitarized and any plans for a German military were forbidden by Allied regulations. Only some naval mine sweeping units continued to exist, but they remained unarmed and under Allied control and did not serve as a national defense force. Even the Federal Border Protection Force, a mobile, lightly armed police force of 10,000 men, was only formed in 1951. A proposal to integrate West German troops with soldiers of France, Belgium, the Netherlands, Luxembourg, and Italy in a European defense community was proposed but never implemented. There was a discussion among the United States, the United Kingdom and France over the issue of a revived West German military. In particular, France was reluctant to allow Germany to rearm in light of recent history. Germany had invaded France twice in living memory, in World War I and World War II, and also defeated France in the Franco-German War of 1870-71. See also French-German enmity. However, after the project for a European defence community failed in the French National Assembly in 1954, France agreed to West German accession to NATO and rearmament. With growing tensions between the Soviet Union and the West, especially after the Korean War, this policy was to be revised. While the German Democratic Republic East Germany was already secretly rearming, the seeds of a new West German force started in 1950 when former high-ranking German officers were tasked by Chancellor Konrad Adenauer to discuss the options for West German rearmament. The results of a meeting in the monastery of Himmerod formed the conceptual base to build the new armed forces in West Germany. The AMT Blank, Blank Agency, named after its director Theodore Blank, the predecessor of the later Federal Ministry of Defense, was formed the same year to prepare the establishment of the future forces. Hasso von Mantufel, a former general of the Wehrmacht and liberal politician, submitted the name Bundeswehr for the new forces. This name was later confirmed by the West German Bundestag. The Bundeswehr was officially established on the 200th birthday of Scharnhorst on 12 November 1955. In personnel and education terms, the most important initial feature of the new German armed forces was to be their orientation as citizen defenders of a democratic state, fully subordinate to the political leadership of the country. A personnel screening committee was created to make sure that the future colonels and generals of the armed forces were those whose political attitude and experience would be acceptable to the new democratic state. There were a few key reformers, such as General Ulrich de Maizier, General Graf von Kielmansegg, and Graf von Baudissan, who re-emphasized some of the more democratic parts of Germany's armed forces history in order to establish a solid civil military basis to build upon. After an amendment of the Basic Law in 1955, West Germany became a member of NATO. The first public military review took place at Andernach, in January 1956. A U.S. Military Assistance Advisory Group MARG, helped with the introduction of the Bundeswehr's initial equipment and war material, predominantly of American origin. In 1956, conscription for all men between the ages of 18 and 45 was reintroduced, later augmented by a civil alternative with longer duration see conscription in Germany. In response, East Germany formed its own military force, the National Volksarmee in 1956, with conscription being established only in 1962. The National Volksarmee was eventually dissolved with the reunification of Germany in 1990. 
Compulsory conscription was suspended, but not completely abolished as an alternative, in January 2011. During the Cold War the Bundeswehr was the backbone of NATO's conventional defence in Central Europe. It had a strength of 495,000 military and 170,000 civilian personnel. Although Germany had smaller armed forces than France and the United States, Cold War historian John Lewis Gaddis assesses the Bundeswehr as perhaps world's best army. The army consisted of three corps with 12 divisions, most of them heavily armed with tanks and APCs. The Luftwaffe owned significant numbers of tactical combat aircraft and took part in NATO's Integrated Air Defense The Navy was tasked and equipped to defend the Baltic approaches, to provide escort reinforcement and resupply shipping in the North Sea and to contain the Soviet Baltic Fleet. During this time the Bundeswehr did not take part in combat operations. However, there were a number of large-scale training and operational casualties. The first such incident was in June 1957, when 15 paratroop recruits were drowned in the Illa River, Bavaria. <laughs> <laughs> German reunification 1990 At the time of reunification, the German military boasted a manpower of some 585,000 soldiers. As part of the German reunification process, under the Treaty on the Final Settlement with Respect to Germany 2 plus 4 treaty, which paved the way for reunification, the Bundeswehr was to be reduced to 370,000 personnel, of whom no more than 345,000 were to be in the Army and Air Force. This would be Germany's contribution to the Treaty on Conventional Armed Forces in Europe, and the restrictions would enter into force at the time the CFE Treaty would. As a result, the Bundeswehr was significantly reduced, and the former East German National Volksarmee was disbanded, with a portion of its personnel and material being absorbed into the Bundeswehr. About 50,000 Volksarmee personnel were integrated into the Bundeswehr on 2 October 1990. This figure was rapidly reduced as conscripts and short-term volunteers completed their service. A number of senior officers but no generals or admirals received limited contracts for up to two years to continue daily operations. Personnel remaining in the Bundeswehr were awarded new contracts and new ranks, dependent on their individual qualification and experience. Many were granted and accepted a lower rank than previously held in the Volksarmee. In general, the unification process of the two militaries, under the slogan, Armee der Einheit, or Army of Unity, has been seen publicly as a major success and an example for other parts of the society. With the reduction, a large amount of the military hardware of the Bundeswehr, as well as of the Volksarmee, had to be disposed of. Most of the armored vehicles and fighter jet aircraft the Bundesluftwaffe, due to reunification, was the only air force in the world that flew both Phantoms and MiGs were dismantled under international disarmament procedures. Many ships were scrapped or sold, often to the Baltic states or Indonesia the latter received 39 former Volksmarine vessels of various types. With reunification, all restrictions on the manufacture and possession of conventional arms that had been imposed on the Bundeswehr as a condition for West German rearmament were lifted. Since 1996, Germany also has its own special forces, the Kommando Spezierkraft Special Forces Command. It was formed after German citizens had to be rescued in Rwanda by Belgian para-commandos as the special commands of the Federal Police were not capable of operating in a war zone. Topic. Reorientation A major event for the German military was the suspension of the compulsory conscription for men in 2011. In 2011-12, a major reform of the Bundeswehr was announced, further limiting the number of military bases and soldiers. The last reform set a required strength of 185,000 soldiers. As of 31 July 2019, the number of active military personnel in the Bundeswehr was down to 182,832, corresponding to a ratio of 2.2 active soldiers per 1,000 inhabitants. 
Military expenditure in Germany was at 47.32 billion euros in 2019. German military expenditures are lower than comparable countries of the European Union such as France and the United Kingdom, especially when taking into account Germany's larger population and economy. This discrepancy is often criticized by Germany's military allies, especially the United States. In September 2014, the Bundeswehr acknowledged chronic equipment problems that rendered its armed forces unable to deliver its defensive NATO promises. Among the problems cited were dysfunctional weapons systems, armored vehicles, aircraft, and naval vessels unfit for immediate service due to a neglect of maintenance, and serious equipment and spare parts shortages. The situation was so dire that it was acknowledged that most of Germany's fighter aircraft and combat helicopters were not in deployable condition. In 2015, as a result of serious NATO Russian tensions in Europe, Germany announced a major increase in defense spending. In May 2015, the German government approved an increase in defense spending, at the time 1.3% of GDP, by 6.2% over the following five years, allowing the Ministry of Defense to fully modernize the army. Plans were also announced to significantly expand the tank fleet to a potential number of 328, order 131 more boxer armored personnel carriers, increase the submarine fleet, and to develop a new fighter jet to replace the tornado. Germany considered increasing the size of the army, and in May 2016 it announced it would spend €130 billion Euros on new equipment by 2030 and add nearly 7,000 soldiers by 2023 in the first German military expansion since the end of the Cold War. In February 2017, the German government announced another expansion, which would increase the number of its professional soldiers by 20,000 by 2024. Topic. Coordination with European partners The Bundeswehr is to play a greater role as anchor army for smaller NATO states, by improving coordination between its divisions and smaller members' brigades. A further proposal, by Minister of Defense von der Leyen, to allow non-German EU nationals to join the Bundeswehr, has been met by strong opposition, even from her own party, as a consequence of improved Dutch-German cooperation, two of three Royal Netherlands Army brigades are now under German command. In 2014, the 11th Airmobile Brigade was integrated into the German Division of Fast Forces DSK. The Dutch 43rd Mechanized Brigade will be assigned to the 1st Panzer Division Bundeswehr of the German Army, with the integration starting at the beginning of 2016, and the unit becoming operational at the end of 2019. Also, the Sea Battalion of the German Navy will start operating under Royal Dutch Navy Command until 2018. The Dutch-German military cooperation is seen as an example for setting up a European Defence Union, also the Czech Republic's 4th Rapid Deployment Brigade, and Romania's 81st Mechanized Brigade, will be integrated into Germany's 10 Armoured Division and Rapid Response Forces Division. Topic. Command organisation With the growing number of missions abroad it was recognized that the Bundeswehr required a new command structure. A reform commission under the chairmanship of the former president Richard von Weizsäcker presented its recommendations in spring 2000. In October 2000 the Joint Support Service, the Strike Crafter Basis, was established to concentrate logistics and other supporting functions such as military police, supply and communications under one command. Medical support was reorganized with the establishment of the Joint Medical Service. In 2016, the Bundeswehr created its youngest branch the Cyber and Information Space Command. The combat forces of the Army are organized into three combat divisions and participate in multinational command structures at the core level. The Air Force maintains three divisions and the Navy is structured into two flotillas. The Joint Support Service and the Joint Medical Service are both organized in four regional commands of identical structure. All of these services also have general commands for training, procurement, and other general issues. 
The Minister of Defense or the Chancellor is supported by the Chief of Defense Chod, General Inspector, and the Service Chiefs Inspector, Inspector of the Army, Inspector of the Air Force, Inspector of the Navy and their respective staffs in his or her function as Commander-in-Chief. The CHOD and the service chiefs form the Military Command Council with functions similar to those of the Joint Chiefs of Staff in the United States. Subordinate to the CHOD is the Armed Forces Operational Command For smaller missions one of the service HQs e the fleet command, may exercise command and control of forces in missions abroad. The Bundestag must approve any foreign deployment by a simple majority. This has led to some discontent with Germany's allies about troop deployments e.g. in Afghanistan since parliamentary consent over such issues is relatively hard to achieve in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Mission The role of the Bundeswehr is described in the Constitution of Germany Art. 87a as absolutely defensive only. Its only active role before 1990 was the Katastropheninsatz disaster control. Within the Bundeswehr, it helped after natural disasters both in Germany and abroad. After 1990, the international situation changed from east-west confrontation to one of general uncertainty and instability. Today, after a ruling of the Federal Constitutional Court in 1994 the term, defense has been defined to not only include protection of the borders of Germany, but also crisis reaction and conflict prevention, or more broadly as guarding the security of Germany anywhere in the world. According to the definition given by former Defence Minister Strzok, it may be necessary to defend Germany even at the Hindu Kush. This requires the Bundeswehr to take part in operations outside of the borders of Germany, as part of NATO or the European Union and mandated by the UN. Topic. Operations Since the early 1990s the Bundeswehr has become more and more engaged in international operations in and around the former Yugoslavia, and also in other parts of the world like Cambodia or Somalia. After the 11th of September 2001 attacks, German forces were employed in most related theatres except Iraq. Currently, the 23rd of April 2019, there are 3,321 Bundeswehr soldiers deployed in Afghanistan, Resolute Support Mission, 1,175 personnel, Mandate Limit, 1,300, Kosovo, KFOR, 62 personnel, Mandate Limit, 800. South Sudan UNMISS 13 personnel Mandate limit, 50 Sudan UNAMID 3 personnel Mandate limit, 50 Lebanon UNIFIL 115 personnel Mandate limit, 300 Mali EUTM Mali 167 personnel Mandate limit, 350 Mali MINUSMA 845 personnel Mandate limit, 1100 Horn of Africa, Indian Ocean Operation Atalanta 78 personnel Mandate limit, 600 Mediterranean Sea Operation Sea Guardian 370 personnel Mandate limit, 650 Mediterranean Sea Operation Sophia 0 personnel Mandate limit, 950 Syria, Iraq Operation Counter Daesh 442 personnel Mandate limit, 800 Western Sahara Minerso 3 personnel Mandate limit, 20 Libya UNSMIL 
Two personnel in addition to the numbers above, 48 soldiers are on permanent standby for medical evacuation operations around the world in assistance of ongoing German or coalition operations in support of Allied stabilization efforts in Iraq, the Bundeswehr is also training the new Iraqi forces in locations outside Iraq, such as the United Arab Emirates and Germany. Since 1994, the Bundeswehr has lost about 100 troops in foreign deployments. See also, German Armed Forces Casualties in Afghanistan. Topic. Equipment. According to the new threat scenario facing Germany and its NATO allies, the Bundeswehr is currently reorganizing itself. To realize growth in mobility and the enlargement of the Air Force's capabilities, the Bundeswehr is going to buy 53 Airbus A400M transports as well as 136 Eurofighter Typhoon fighters and also several unmanned aerial vehicle models. 57 Eurocopter Tiger, 100 NH-90 18 of them in the naval version and 15 Special Forces helicopters are being delivered. For the ground forces it plans to produce 350 Puma infantry fighting vehicle, at least 400 Boxer MRAV, started to introduce a novel land soldier system and a new generation of transportation vehicles and light vehicles, such as the Fennec, and KMW Grizzly. Further, the German Navy is going to build four new F-125 class frigates, six new multi-role combat ships dubbed MKS-180 and six Type 212 submarines. <laughs> <laughs> Appearance Uniforms <laughs> 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 The service uniform is theoretically the standard type of Bundeswehr uniform for general duty and off-post activity, but is most associated, however, with ceremonial occasions. The Army's service uniform consists of a light grey, single-breasted coat and darker grey trousers, worn with a light blue shirt, black tie, and black shoes. The peaked, visored cap has been replaced by the beret as the most common form of headgear. Dress uniforms featuring dinner jackets or double-breasted coats are worn by officers for various social occasions. The battle and work uniform consists of flectarn camouflage fatigues, which are also worn on field duty. In practice, they are also used for general duty and off-post at least at barracks where there is also field duty even by others, and for the way home or to the post, and generally regarded as the here uniform. In all three services, light sand-colored uniforms are available for duty in warmer climates. In 2016 a new multitan pattern was launched, similar to the multicam uniforms of the British Army or U.S. Army. A different, traditional variety of the service uniform is worn by the Gebirgsjaja mountain infantry, consisting of ski jacket, stretch trousers, and ski boots. Instead of the beret, they wear the grey, mountain cap. See here for details, the field uniform is the same, except for the optional metal edelweiss worn on the forage cap. The traditional arm of service colors appear as lapel facings and as piping on shoulder straps. Generals wear an inner piping of gold braid, other officers wear silver piping. Lapel facings and piping are maroon for general staff, green for infantry, red for artillery, pink for armor, black for engineers, yellow for communications, dark yellow for reconnaissance and various other colors for the remaining branches. Combat troops wear green infantry, black armor, or maroon airborne berets. Logistics troops and combat support troops, such as artillery or engineers, wear red berets. A gold or silver badge on the beret denotes the individual branch of service. The naval forces wear the traditional navy blue, double-breasted coat and trousers. Enlisted personnel wear either a white shirt or a navy blue shirt with the traditional navy collar. White uniforms provide an alternative for summer. The officer's dress cap is mounted with a gold anchor surrounded by a wreath. The visor of the admiral's cap bears a double row of oak leaves. The Air Force service uniform consists of a blue jacket and trousers with a light blue shirt, dark blue tie, and black shoes. 
Olive battle dress similar to the Army fatigue uniform is worn in basic training and during other field duty. Flying personnel wear wings on their right breast. Other Air Force personnel wear a modified wing device with a symbol in its center denoting service specialization. These Tatakitsabzeichen come in bronze, silver, or gold, depending on one's length of service in the specialty. Wings, superimposed over a wreath, in gold, silver, or bronze, depending on rank, are also worn on the service or field cap. Topic. Ranks In general, officer ranks are those used in the Prussian and pre-1945 German armies. Officer rank insignia are worn on shoulder straps or shoulder boards. Army here and Air Force Luftwaffe junior officers insignia are four-pointed silver stars while field grade officers wear silver black or white on camouflage uniforms stars and an oak wreath around the lowest star. The stars and wreath are gold for general officers. In the case of naval marine officers, rank is indicated by gold stripes on the lower sleeve of the blue service jacket and on shoulder boards of the white uniform. Soldier and NCO ranks are similar to those of the Prussian and pre-1945 German armies. In the Army and Air Force, a Gefreiter corresponds to the NATO rank OR2 and Obergefreiter as well as Hauptgefreiter to OR3, while OR4 stands for Stabsgefreiter and Oberstabsgefreiter. An Unteroffizier is the lowest ranking sergeant OR5, followed by Stabsunteroffizier also OR5, Feldwebel and Oberfeldwebel OR6, Hauptfeldwebel OR-7 Stabsfeldwebel OR8 and Oberstabsfeldwebel OR9. Ranks of Army and Air Force enlisted personnel are designated by stripes, chevrons, and sword knots worn on rank slides. Naval enlisted rank designations are worn on the upper OR1 to 5 or lower OR6 and above sleeve along with a symbol based on an anchor for the service specialization rating. Army and Air Force officer candidates hold the separate ranks of Fahnenjunker OR5, Fahnrich OR6 and Oberfahnrich OR-7/8 and wear the appropriate rank insignia plus a silver cord bound around it. Officers candidates in the Navy Sea Cadet, sea Cadet equivalent to OR5 and Fahnrich zur Sea Midshipman Second Class, OR6 wear the rank insignia of the respective enlisted ranks but with a gold star instead of the rating symbol, while an Oberfahnrich zur Sea Midshipman First Class, OR-7 eighths wears an officer type thin rank stripe. Medical personnel of all three services wear a version of the traditional caduceus staff with entwined serpents on their shoulder straps or sleeve. The officers' ranks have own designations differing from the line officers, the rank insignias however are basically the same. <laughs> <laughs> Women Women have served in the medical service since 1975. From 1993 they were also allowed to serve as enlisted personnel and non-commissioned officers in the medical service and the army bands. In 2000, in a lawsuit brought up by Tanya Creel, the European Court of Justice issued a ruling allowing women to serve in more roles than previously allowed. Since 2001 they can serve in all functions of service without restriction, but they are not subject to conscription. There are presently around 19,064 women on active duty and a number of female reservists who take part in all duties including peacekeeping missions and other operations. In 1994, Verena von Weimann became Generalast der Luftwaffe, Surgeon General of the Air Force, the first woman ever to reach the rank of general in the armed forces of Germany. For women, lower physical performance requirements are required in the basic fitness test, which must be completed at the time of recruitment and later on annually. The sex surcharge for the sprint test and the 1,000 meters run is 15%, for chin up 40%. <laughs> Topic. Rank structure Officinkos and enlisted Topic. Awards Badge of Honor of the Bundeswehr Combat Action Medal of the Bundeswehr 
German Armed Forces Badge of Marksmanship German Armed Forces Badge for Military Proficiency German Armed Forces Service Medal German Flood Service Medal 2002 German Flood Service Medal 2013 German Parachutist Badge Topic See also Order of Merit of the Federal Republic of Germany Parachutist Badge Germany Defence Force United Nations Training Center of the Bundeswehr Day X Plot, alleged conspiracy of Bundeswehr soldiers to murder left-leaning politicians <laughs>